Good evening and welcome to my top 10 action man weapons. Number 10, the Zig rifle. Including infrared sight and bipod, it was available on the NATO Night Maneuvers Armory set, SAS Beachhead Attack set, the Armory and Equipment Center cards. Number 9, Car 98 rifle. Featuring plastic strap, it was included with the Africa Corps Lance Corporal and late issued German Stormtrooper outfit. Number 8, Lee Enfield rifle. First appearing in the 1978 Equipment Manual, it was included with the Royal Engineer Outfit in 1981 and Equipment Center cards. Number 7, Special Team Rifle. Featuring a plastic strap and removable optical and infrared sights, it was included with the Special Team Ground Assault, Arctic Assault and SAS Secret Mission Set. Number 6, Vickers Machine Gun. First released in 1977, it featured a tripod and ammunition belt slot. It was available on Equipment Center cards and was an accessory with the Action Man Electronic Command Center. At number 5, XM214 Minigun. Featuring two-piece tripod and ammunition belt, it was included with the Rhine Army Weapons Arsenal set and Equipment Center cards. Number 4, Kalashnikov Machine Gun. Featuring bipod and ammunition belt, it was only available on an Equipment Center card. Number 3, PPK Pistol. Based on the famous German handgun, it was available on the Battle of the Bulge Armoury card. Number 2, the Quartermaster Stores Missile Launcher. Released in 1971 in the Quartermaster Stores range, it is associated with the Marine Combat Outfit. It featured a spring missile firing action and included three missiles. Before number one, here's some honourable mentions. The Mauser Pistol, the Lewis Machine Gun, and the Snub Nose Revolver. At number one, the Carl Gustav Anti-Tank Launcher. Available in 1982, it featured a simple construction and a very fragile bipod. It was only ever available as an accessory with the modern British infantryman outfit. Thanks for tuning in this evening. Disagree? Or have I missed anything out? Comment section below.